Right, we need to slot in this job. Oh, although we're only doing one CB repair a week, uh, this gentleman's happy to slot in because he's a farmer and it'll be quite quick to do because I did that um, similar one but with different firmware the other day and that's the Thunderpole T3000. He doesn't use it on AM and he uses it on UK channels only so we don't have to do the AM part of it which saves time and therefore costs him less. There's something I always ask people who have these multi-norms because there's no point in going through things which are never going to be used. Um, so, I've just been to tune the organ at Ancaster Church and I've just recorded myself playing the Ukrainian national anthem ready for that wedding I've got a week on Saturday where the bride's mother has two Ukrainian refugees staying with her so it would be nice for them if I do that. It would be even nicer if I hit the right notes. But I'll put that up. Uh, I don't normally put me playing the church organ up but I thought we would do just for a, a bit of thing under the circumstances. So, um, don't expect some huge organ. It's only weighs about one ton, that one. So if I get my clipboard, the chances are that the last 28 days of stuff on the clipboard, the Joe Picks will be on there which is what we were doing a Joe Picks version except of course no I wouldn't expect to be able to reference it that quickly. <laughs> Dear. Right, so what we will do, see what his letter says. Um, quick turnaround, uh, operate on channel 37, da 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 da. He didn't think it was working that well last year. Well, of course, that might be down to his aerial. But, because usually these will work out of the box, whereas some radios are so quiet when they come out of the box, they're actually unusable. But I've not found that to be the case with these. So, I, he might need to just check his aerolines. Has to be on. Most tractors are using shortened mini springers, so you, you are restricted to about a six mile range anyway. And if that's not... Um, a good SWR, you may be down to a mile and a half. So we'll switch some testy gear on and we'll write down the facts and figures on the back of his letter. Uh, what well, he's got this on a it comes on a cigarette lighter plug, so we'll connect that to our famously short circuiting crocodile clips. Power supply on, radio on come on on channel 37 I'll still optimize it on channel 20 actually I'll do it on channel 21 so it's got a lean towards the upper channels right um, so we've connected up to the test gear I'll switch picture in picture on and I can see that in the monitor so we're on the 3 watt scale so full scale deflection is 3 watts and it's doing 2.5 so TX 2.5 watts deviation wallow 1.8 so that needs to come up and that needs to come up and really that's all the adjustments there are uh, unless you start doing the AM as well so um, We'll put the receive side on, just make sure there's nothing amiss. Not that there are any adjustments for the receive. So I want 2779125. I'm going to come back to this in another 20 minutes and check, that, not that I can adjust the frequency, but we'll just check the frequency again because I only put the test set on 10 minutes ago. And, and the, all these kind of test instruments need to be on half an hour. Um, whether you've just bought one for 12,000 quid or whether you're using an older one 
it's because the crystals are in a crystal oven they have to come up to temperature plug the extension speaker in which is our test equipment go back to channel 20 the only trouble with these sets is the uh, knobs fall out don't they from the front okay so we have just put the attenuator controls on the inset pitch. This is going to be the quickest uh, because I've done these before um, and we've covered it in quite great detail before. It's going to be quite a quick uh, tune-up. So, um, What am I trying to show you? Oh yes, I'm trying to show you the attenuator controls. So at the moment we're at one microvolt. So that's what we're listening to. Um, so that's 0 0.3 and we're still hearing it. So, without any further adjustment, we'll go over to the cyanide meter and let's see what we've got. Well, we need to go up a scale because it's just doing about... So, if that's 6 and that's 12, 6, 8... So it's doing about 10 dB for 0 0.3 microvolts, so that's very good. And uh, So, we'll see what the 12 dB one is. And it is so RX is 0 0.42 microvolts for 12 dB cyanide. So that's up, that's fine. I'll check the squelch works after we've done with the transmit. So we'll take that off and we'll go to the frequency counter, press transmit, and although I can't adjust this, 2779, it should be 79125, it's 79105106. So that might come up a bit, and I can't adjust it anyway, it's well in spec, no problem. So uh, we need to adjust the power. They're so dazzling when the knobs fall off. So, with reference to this test set, and if I can find the adjustment thing, we'll key up, switch picture, and switch the thing back to the main meter. There we are. So we'll adjust the one watt adjustment until hopefully we get something near four watts. And that's exactly what we get. So that's it. We've set the power. So it's doing four watts. Tell you what, it smells of nicotine. He he smokes in that tractor of his. <laughs> Back in the days of sets with real rotary channel selector switches, that really affects uh, the reliability. So um, that's that done. Let's look at deviation. So we'll get our little oscillator out. See if we can bring that up as easily. So it's the top one. So we'll give it a whistle test. One to one. A little bit over the top. Let's try it at that point. One to one. That's it. That's where we want it. 
So we're not setting up, we don't have to do anything on the EU, we don't have to put it into AM mode, and we don't have to twiddle the uh, the modulation ones which are, are there. So that is all there is to it. But it's a matter of having the test gear to do it. I'll just check his squelch works as well. I'm going to turn this off because putting these knobs back it might do all kinds of strange malfunctions. Now that seems to be right. So we'll put two of them in snugly but not fully down with our Datsun screwdriver. And we'll be doing it on the air test with Mr Chippy later on, but in the meantime, when I put it back together we will just see whether there's any good buddies out there at half past four on a Wednesday. Right, we'll just check it still works. So, transmit, voila, we've got the deviation, we've got the full 4 watts power at 13.8 volts, it's actually drawing 1.9 amps, so it's quite a hefty current. So, we'll just check it's still receiving. which it is check the squelch maximum not that it's adjustable it's an enormous 10 millivolts and the auto squelch is doing what The auto squelch is doing coming in at 2.1 microvolts. It's going out at 1.5. That's probably adjustable, but he'll know that. And um, then the minimum squelch. Putting the signal generator to standby, setting the squelch carefully to threshold. Switch the signal generator back on. Look at that, we're straight in. So it's coming in at 0.3 of a microvolt and it's leaving at 0.24. At, uh, so that's excellent squelch sensitivity when in manual mode. So there we are. I'm not going to adjust any of his adjustments, so that's uh, how he's left it. So that's fine. We'll switch off the test equipment and why can't I remember where the on and off switch is? There it is. Take those off and we'll put the aerial on it. And then we'll send Mr. Chippy out in our worst possible direction, which is what we always do. We'll put it on the internal speaker. We'll just have a flick round the channels. Let's start at 19 like we usually do. One and a Roger.
Ninety Laraja. Not a sausage. Right. It's about being in the middle of nowhere. It's great, isn't it? I've had a ham radio set on four meters AM for two years and I haven't had a contact on it yet. <laughs> I like to have obscure things like that. Right, that concludes the uh, little tune-up of the Thunderpole T3000. So it's now four watts and it's now 2.2 .2 to 2.5 kilohertz deviation. So there we are, job done. Thanks for watching another tune-up on Thunderpole T3000.